What's up guys, it's Chuck from Brady Adventures and today we're gonna to be running the wiring harness from inside our engine compartment up through the A-pillar across the headliner to where our switch panel's installed. I decided to split this into a separate video because there's a lot of different projects where you're gonna to wanna to run wire through the A-pillar and the headliner and this is the first time I'd ever attempted that and thought this would be valuable on its own. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and leave us any questions or comments you have below and we'll be sure to get back to you. And before we get started running the wire, I wanna show you a little product that we're gonna be using to splice into our fuse panel for our ignition wire on our switch panel. The Vo switch came with this neat little wiring device. It is called a tap a fuse or a piggyback harness. And what you can do with this is plug it in to an existing circuit in your fuse panel, move the fuse to this lower level, it'll still power that circuit as it would have before, and this fuse in the other slot will power this wire. I'm gonna end up using this in my install to wire to here so that the lower level light LED light on my switch panel turns on when the ignition turns on. These are exceptionally cool because you don't have to end up splicing into any wires under your dash, which is gonna increase your reliability of your wiring, and if you ever wanna remove it or change something, you can pull this right out. There are a bunch of different versions that you can get of this on Amazon. I'll put some links to some of those in the description below. Hopefully these will help you out on your next wiring project. Now that I have this down and I have my hole for my switches cut, I need to run the wire across the headliner here and down this A-pillar. First thing I need to do is get this sun visor out of the way. Look at my map up here. Woo! I'm gonna take these two screws out first never done this before i've heard once you get the sun visor off it's pretty easy to get up in the headliner to route your wires there's a channel up there i think you just pop this off oh there we go and that just slides out of there so you can see that just has four little clips holding it on and now i've got a couple phillips screws to take out and it should drop right down There is a wire in there. So I gotta undo this plug. Hopefully don't lose that up in there. Also take this little bracket off right here. Okay, so you pull it from the front, I think. And then maybe you slide it. Okay, so the front is just a push pin and that screw holds it in, but then you gotta pop those two little things out. Now, you can get up under the headliner and there's a little channel right here that I should be able to run the wires the way that I want. Now I'm gonna get this handle off here, pop these little guys out, and there's just a couple Phillips screws holding this guy in. I think the last thing I need to do is just kind of pop this off. And I heard that there's just a couple clips. So you just have to get up under here and, oh, it actually came off. Super easy. I can easily get under here, run my wires right along here into this channel, down into there that's gonna go right to where my hole in the firewall is, back under the kick panel down here. Duct taped my wire to a little drill bit that I should be able to push through. Go see if I can find that underneath. My wire hardness pulled through there. I ended up cutting a little hole and I would just recommend that you're very careful down there because there is a big bundle of small wires going through that. It could be a real disaster if you cut one of those. So after the fact, I kind of wish I would have just drilled the firewall right here and used a grommet to get the wire through and just had its own spot. Looks like it's gonna work out okay and I don't think I messed anything up. So I'm just gonna put a bunch of silicone on there. Now that I've got my wiring harness pulled through, I'm gonna route it straight up there and come out the dash up by the A-pillar. And I'm also gonna run this one red lead up with the wiring harness. This is gonna be the ignition on hot to power the lower LEDs on the switch panel. Here. I have 
the wires all running down the A pillar now. So I'm gonna put everything back together. You can see I've got my piggyback fuse in here in this wire. And so now I'm gonna take my ignition wire and splice that into there. The great thing about this harness, I think I had about two feet extra on this Vosewitch wiring harness. That worked out pretty good. I knew it was gonna be close, but there was plenty. Now one thing I am gonna have to do is cut out the little slot in the fuse cover so that it'll go over the top of that piggyback. That should do it. Take more off than we really need to. Perfect, now we can get the switches up in here and we should be good to go. Hey guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and keep an eye out for our next video where we're gonna be installing our Vo Switch relay box underneath the hood in the Land Cruiser. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. And always feel free to leave us any comments or questions that you might have.